So what's up beautiful people this is Sibar welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing absolutely fine So guys once again I'm back with my LG C10 television that you can see right behind me and for those who are new to my channel I have been using this LG C10 television from past couple of weeks now and I've made a detailed review about it and you can see the link to that video somewhere popping up on the screen right now so don't forget to check that video out but for today I'm back with the magic remote Yes, I'm back with the LG Magic Remote that you get along with this television. I will share some tips and tricks that will make your life way easy when you're using that remote to operate this television. So now without wasting any time, let's start the video. Starting off with the first feature, if you press and hold setting button on the remote control, it will directly take you to the picture settings where once you go into the energy saving mode, it will allow you to put your screen off and the best part about this feature is that you can put the screen off of the television but the music in the background will still play so say for example if you're listening to youtube music you can put the screen off and the music will still play but that is not it even if the screen is off you can still control the volume of the music that is playing as you can see it in the video The second tip is about how to activate the cursor. You can either shake the remote while pointing it towards the TV or you can use the scroller button to scroll up or down and the cursor will be activated. The third tip is about choosing the pointer option. You just need to go in settings and under settings you need to go in general settings and then additional settings and you can see the pointer option. Once you go inside that pointer option, you will see the size of the cursor that you can choose from. Then you can also adjust the speed of the cursor from slow, normal to fast. In my case, I prefer it fast, but if you want, you can choose it either slow or normal. Now before we move ahead to the next feature, guys if you are enjoying this video, do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now moving on to the fourth tip, you need to long press the plug button on your LG remote as you can see on the screen. It will take you to the home dashboard. You need to click on connect mobile. It will ask you to choose from Android and iOS and once you do that, you can connect your phone through LG Think. LG Think is an application that you can download from Android, Play Store or Apple iOS. Once you do that, you will be able to connect your mobile phone and you can use your mobile phone as a remote controller and you can operate your television from anywhere in your house without any interruption. I have already downloaded the application, scanned the QR code to connect my mobile phone. Once you do that, you need to open the LG Think application, select TV and now you can see the remote controller on your mobile phone screen. You can see you have volume up, down option, change channel, mute, power on, power off, settings, plug, everything. The best part about this application is that you can actually type and search the content using the phone keypad where on the other hand if you are using the magic remote you need to use the cursor to type from the virtual keypad displaying on the TV screen. The fifth tip is one of my favorite tip because I can simply screen mirror my MacBook to the LG television using the airplay option as you can see it on the screen right now. And you can also notice there is very minimum lag. The sixth tip is one of the most useful tip and will definitely make your life easier. Wherein you can easily assign the application shortcuts to the remote control keypad. For example, here I am assigning browser as the shortcut on the remote control and I am selecting number 2 on the remote control number pad. All I need to do is get into the browser, long press the number 2 on the remote control number pad and that's it. The remote will automatically capture the details and from the next time whenever I want to use the browser I don't have to manually scroll all the way to the browser but instead simply press the number 2 on the remote control and it will directly take me to the browser. How cool is that? Now talking about the seventh tip this will definitely help you to identify whether you got a brand new TV or no. All you need to do is go into settings 
click on support and once you do that click on TV information and it will exactly give you the total power on time the number of hours this television has run so far so if the number of hours on your television is way too high then you have got a display TV and you might want to get in touch with the dealer or the place you bought this television from talking about the eighth tip if you are an Alexa fan you will definitely enjoy this if you want to set up your LG television on Alexa all you need to do is long press the Amazon Prime video button on the remote control and get started with it I do not use Alexa hence I did not set it up but if you are an Alexa fan you can definitely set it up the ninth tip is about reorganizing the applications that you have on the TV for example if you want to move an application from one place to another you need to use the scroller button press it long and then move the application to your desired place at the same point of time it will also allow you to add a YouTube channel as a shortcut on this menu as you can see I have already added my own channel and now just to show you this edit mode will give you the option to add another YouTube channel you need to click on add search the channel that you want to add a shortcut as and then select that channel and once you do add that channel you can see it as a shortcut on the main screen last but not the least the tenth tip is all about the art gallery all you need to do is press the home button on the TV remote and go to the art gallery application and once you do that you get to choose a screen saver from these high definition images these screen savers are not just screen savers but are designed in such a way that they will make your TV screen look like a high definition photo frame and in my opinion that looks really cool So that's all for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like button do share this video with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support motivates me to make such content I will see you in the next video until then peace